Many of you are getting out this weekend and looking for something fun to do. So we're catching up with Officer Blake Horton out of Oxford. He's the Oxford Police Department. And they've got their, I think it's 18th annual, um, Officer Horton, um, Haunted House. And I think this is really cool because you don't normally have your um, police departments putting out haunted houses. And I thought this is a great idea. So welcome. Yes, thank you for having me, Rebecca. So how did this happen 18 years ago? Why did the Oxford Police Department decide, you know what we need? We need a haunted house. Well, it's to give back to the community. We pride ourselves on community relations and giving back to the city we live in. And so all of the money that we raise, we give back and implement it into um, uh, uh, charity organizations here in town. Oh, that's cool. Do y'all pick a different one each year, or do y'all kind of hone in on one or two over the last 18 years? One, one for sure I focus on, and that is Night to Shine. That's the Tim Tebow Foundation. I always sponsor 20 kids. Now, the secondary organization, differs, it, it differs each year. So this year we're giving the bulk of the money to Interfaith Compassion Ministries, and that organization focuses on getting people – um, that have lost temporary, that have lost their housing, and we can get them temporarily housed with some food vouchers and food in their bellies and a warm place to sleep at nighttime. Oh, I love that. Okay, Officer Horton, I'm kind of a, a wimp when it comes to haunted houses. Is it like uh, the scary level? Is it like small, medium, or large? Well, I've been working on it two months, and <laughs> I am a horror fan. It is scary. It's. Uh, it's slaughterhouse, butcher room, electric chair, torture room, <laughs> witches, evil priest, haunted house, scary music, screaming chainsaws, you name it. You had to say the chainsaws. Oh, man. Okay. So, but people, but this is the time of year, and this is what folks are coming out for and they enjoy. And for whatever reason, when I walk through one, I just forget that it's fake and then I just assume I'm going to die and then you get over it and then all is sort of well with it but how long does it last like kind of set us up if we come out for the haunted house there in Oxford where is it at and then what should we know all right what should you know it's five dollars cash only we don't do Venmo or PayPal so you got to have cash location highway seven south turn at the fire department you'll see the uh the OPD haunted house sign out there and just look to the right. You'll see all the cars. You'll see the exchange clubs, trailer set up, selling hamburgers. You'll see the line of people. That's the spot. That's the spot. How long does it take a take a group to go? Do you go through as a group? Is it like two at a time? Yeah. yeah. Yes, yes. All right, so let me get the time. Starts at 6, ends at 9, but if people are still going, we're still rocking and rolling. Time frame to get through the haunted house probably take you 20 minutes. We do we do groups. We've got about ten firefighters that are taking groups through each time, so we're rocking and rolling. Um, I've got nine fully decorated actor uh, equipped rooms with a fifty foot hallway with evil priest in it. <laughs> I just feel like where you you know what was your childhood like? What were you watching during <laughs> scary season, Doc, uh, Officer Horton? No, I think it's great um, that this is an opportunity and people like to be scared and people enjoy these things. But what age oh, yeah. would you say would be maybe maybe too young for what y'all have to offer? Um, if the kids are already sleeping in your bed. They're probably too young. <laughs> Does great, that make sense? Yeah. This haunted house is going to keep them in your parents' bed. I got gotcha. you. I love this. It sounds like you pride yourself, though, and this is your baby, right, Officer Horton? Like you, yes. you have thought this through. You've come it up. So, where do you get yes. your inspiration? Are you out traveling, going to other haunted houses, watching scary movies, going to all the Halloween pop-up shops? Where are you getting your inspiration for this? Well, well, my inspiration, I have, I have, I'm an extreme DIY guy, and I've been building things my whole life. I love Halloween. I love the spooky stuff. Um, I get a lot of my inspiration in my preparation. Uh, I take time. I look at stuff on the Internet. I look at my material. I go out, get material. And plus, I've been going to haunted houses my whole life. So this is a no-brainer for me. I love it. All right, so you've got tomorrow night. And you've got, yes. so it's, it's tonight, tonight and tomorrow night, starting tonight at 6. tomorrow night, that's right. And just know if you scream and you tee your pants, it all went to a good cause. 
That's right. We'll get a mop and clean it up, and we'll get you going back through the haunted house. No big deal. I love it, Officer Horton. If people want more information, um, you guys have it all on your Facebook page. That's where I found it, right? Yes, yes. You can go to the Oxford Police Department's Facebook page, scroll around. Uh, you'll see it posted all on there. Um, you can't miss it. We want everybody to come out, have a good time. Uh, you know, it's for a good cause. We're raising cash. Come. All righty. I appreciate your time, Officer Horton, and wishing you all the best weather this weekend. So thank you. Yes, ma'am. Brock Steady. Thank you for having me, Rebecca. All righty. You guys stick with us. You got Sports Talk coming up next with the boys from 3 to 6. Rhino and I will meet you back here Monday at 2, but until then, I hope you all find time for the good things.